So, is it working? I don't know if it's working or not. It's recording. Yeah, we're good. But, okay, so, we stopped at Menards yesterday. Because I don't know what to build out of wood since I was sick of building workbenches. I built another one. And I'm getting cold out here. I just got out here. Um. And yeah, we stopped a minute. I actually got some wood for it. And then we got some plans for it. I found some plans on the internet. Wish I could just throw my camera. Throw the camera in my mouth like what Bill T Max does. But this is just what we need. Right, wrote down. Wrote that down for what we needed. Then here's part of the plans right here. Show you the, the product here. Uh, There we go, that's the finished product. So, I'm gonna go inside and get some stuff done here, like, maybe grab my hat and go take a piss. So, I'll be right back. More stuff we got at Menards. I got some sandpaper, which I needed. Another thing of sandpaper. Then I got this, so I need to drill holes to put screws in, pocket hole, so I think they're called. Um, I, th I thought this thing was called a Craig jig, which yeah, it's made by Craig, and yes it is, and we needed this. So I'll be using that, I'll have a video of me using it too, I'm sure. And then here we got some wood glue, we can have any. I don't know if I'll be using any of them. Okay. Using the clamps. We got screws for those pocket holes, and that's it. So, my mom wants me to use a table saw for cutting out pieces, and she's saying I can't use a miter or a chop saw, or whatever it's called, because the board's too wide, but we'll see. She's right. It ain't long enough for the miter saw. I have to use the table saw, I guess. I'm just trying to set you guys up here. I got to stand on my phone, but you know what? It's, you ain't gonna see much with the way it is, but here we go. I'm gonna measure this out. Gotta go get a tape measure, which is on the other side of the garage. Excuse me. Oh, you guys are seeing the other way. I'll flip you around here. There you go. I just got to check these plans here. See how long you have to make this. Okay. Three quarters inch thick, just what is, I believe. Pretty fucking close, I say. Yeah, it is. And then it says the plan says it's foot wide, which I think it is. Yeah, pretty close. 
Let's go work. And we gotta make her. Oops. 46 and a quarter inches long. So I'll measure that out. Gotta grab my carpenter's pencil, which I believe is in this drawer. And so are my safety glasses, which is a must have. Uh, yep. Here's my carpenter's pencil. Okay. 46 and a quarter, I believe. I'm gonna move this stuff. This not gonna for the rest of my scrap what is. Forty-six. Okay. And a quarter. A marker about right there. A little beyond forty-six and a quarter. In case if I fuck up, measure twice, cut once. I always cut right on the line and it'll be in a little short. So um I guess I'll get this stuff set up and then so that you guys somewhere over here and here. There we go. Got her set up. My mom and sister just left to go to church. Today is Sunday. Like Mr. John Deere 3720, he's an atheist, bro. So yeah, I'm a Christian, but I don't go to church every single Sunday. But I do go from time to time. And hopefully this table saw she runs. I know. Yep. Plugged her up a couple times. She went run and I had to fix it. So. Okay. It looks like we are Okay, before we do our sanding, I know there's those files I got for Christmas. Well, they're gonna come into use right now. I used them yesterday too when I was cleaning. But this little bit needs to be cut off here, so hammer would be nice. I don't feel like going over and getting it though. Probably should though. Be right back and get. It. I don't, I'm just gonna go grab a hammer. It'd be nice if I had a hammer on this side of the garage where, all, where my stuff is, but the hammer. My dad's got all his tools over there, and mine are all over here. And I don't have a hammer, and my dad's got two of them, so I have to walk all the way across to the other side of the garage. You know, it's not that far. I have to walk all the way to the other side of the garage to get it. Which I don't like doing that much. I'm left handed by the way. This might be a little hard. If I had a vice I'd probably put it in there. This clamp here just ain't gonna do nothing, but otherwise I'd probably use that to hold it. Got those other clamps that I got for my birthday. Never opened them yet. I'm probably gonna have to pretty soon though. She's working. Not the best though. You're supposed to wear safety glasses. And these I only wear safety glasses when I'm using a power tool. Otherwise I just don't see them necessary. But yeah, I'm sure they're good to have though. 
Good thing I'm not using a chop, so otherwise I'd have to go grab earplugs because that thing's loud. That's, that's not good. Good thing I have wood glue. We'll do that sucker back in place. Suppose I can just sand. Which side should I sand? This one doesn't need it. This one I think I'll do the sanding on. This side here. Okay. Get my glasses on. And uh, I get sand in here. Let's try the thickness now. See what it is. I should probably shut you guys off. Uh, you don't need to see every single thing I do. I'm gonna only show everything I do once. <sighs> 46 and a quarter. That's exactly 46 and a quarter. Right there. This side over here needs to be sanded down. I'll do that. I just cut out one of the side panels. Right here, I have my gloves on now for after a while I didn't have them on. I cut I, I cut out one of the side panels and it's shorter, it's gonna be harder to sand to get it to the right um length. And this clamp here, I'm sure you guys saw this before, for once this thing actually did it what I want did what I wanted to wanted it to do. Surprisingly. The thing is it's never long enough to do what I want it to do, but now it's actually doing what I want it to do. So I'm finally done with all of the uh, cutting and sanding. It took me what took me when it took me as long if I wasn't sanding so much. But um, we have that's a, sorry that's the board for the top, and um, I just cut it out to the right length. My mom told me to just get it to the right width too, and I was sanding it down like the rest of them. She told me wouldn't need to because it was on the top, which I yeah I guess she's right. But uh, now we are going to. Open up and take a look at this Craig stuff. If I can figure out a way to set you guys up. Let's try and use my file. You guys jump up there? Okay. Be nice if I had my knife with me, but I don't think I really need it. Nope, I don't. Okay, good. I know it's a lot of people in my gar- it's, this stuff's garbage, like the outside stuff, but it's- but to my mom, like to my mom it is, but to me it's not, because I can use that for future reference, so I'm gonna put this in by my manuals and plans, which are in this drawer. Little thing for my drill press in there, too. Now let's see what we got inside here. Manual, okay. Okay, owner's manual. Okay, maybe I'll take a look at that later. We have these little things. Oh, it even comes with some screws. Friggin' rights! Oh, my mom would've knew that. Which I don't know if she did or not. And it comes with the thing itself for drilling the holes. Um, and then it comes with screws. We got this, which I don't even know what that is. Allen wrench, which must be for adjusting something. And this thing comes with screws. Freaking right. I'm gonna look over the manuals and stuff now, see what we got. Okay, we're rolling. Okay, so I read the manual. Apparently, some shit. Dust can cause cancer. They're just. They really don't want to get their asses sued. Oops. Even though it's almost. In my farmhouse steering wheel cover, it says that on there too. Oh, this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer. 
whatever. Idiots. to use a clamp, which I gotta take this clamp off when it's on again. And I can actually use this clamp now, it's actually working for something. Sorry, I dropped my phone. My phone fell over, I should say. Not that I dropped it. <sighs> okay. Tighten this clamp. Okay. Hopefully this should work. Let's try. Ooh, she works. She looks and works good, I guess. Looks good to me. Let's see if she'll fit. And these screws will work. No. I have to use some of these screws then. Let's see what's in here. Just trying to open this, that's all. different uh, depth or something. I don't know. I don't know how all this works. These are too small. I had to open this manual again here. Material thickness 3 quarter inch 19 millimeter screw. Slider set in here. Okay. Uh, what were these? Twenty five. 
inch. Okay, I'll have to set that to that. Okay. Three quarter inch, I guess I gotta move it to then. Move that to there. Okay. No, not there. There. Now, what do I do here? I'm going to see if I can adjust the hole size. That's just what I'm going to have to do here. I'm going to try to stuff out on a scrap piece of wood. I'll be right back. So I think I got this figured out now. I set it. So I just figured it out. I just drill. I just recorded me drilling it, but I accidentally stopped recording. But there we go. That should work. Friggin' right. So I just figured it out. I just drill. I just recorded me drilling it, but I accidentally stopped recording. But there we go. That should work. Friggin' right. Okay, so we yesterday, no, it was Saturday, went to Menards and got stuff for a... Uh, so yesterday, I was uh, building a <coughs> TV stand out of wood. I'm finally building something other than a um, uh, workbench. And um, stopped at Menards and got some stuff to build it out of. And I got... All the boards cut out, and um, started putting it together, and I drilled the uh, pocket holes in it, right there, and they don't seem to be working, too, again, and this thing's really wobbly. I mean, it's because it's like my, not really my first time using a pocket hole thing, a Craig Jig pocket hole thing or whatever, um, but um, then my mom... She bought screws to use to put it together. These. And they were way too small for the board with the thickness of wood I had. And so what I did was I, I set the thing so it was uh, thicker. For thicker wood. So then uh, this wouldn't fall right through. And then, yeah, they fit in fine. But then... Um, um, I think they ended up going all the way through. I'm going to take a look here. Uh, doesn't look too bad. Here, and it's wobbly. One side is really wobbly when I put it together. And then my mom, she put some other screws in there, and it's better. And she says they're, like, too, too long, though. But uh, I think she's going to get some more screws. Uh, see, look at that right there. It went right through the, the little hole in there. This is the bottom of it, by the way. And yeah, it's really, oh, well, it's not too bad over here. This, oh yeah, it's still wobbly. But I felt like it was my fault that that happened, but my mom said it wasn't, because it was like my first time using that. I used one before, but that was in wood shop in school, and, uh, and that must have been set to the thickness, I know. I, I guess they have to be set to the right thickness. I don't know where that thing is now. Oh, it's right there. But, um, yeah, I didn't know that then. And then that one was a little different. And then, uh, I guess next time, we gotta buy the right screws and use it for the right thickness. Hopefully that'll work. I don't know. I'm not sure if I have to use this Craig screws or use something else, though. But, yeah, once we're done with this work, this uh, TV stand, I'll have a video of me building it up for you guys. So, yeah. I got legs to do this. Yeah, I gotta... Finish putting it together. I think I'll wait to do more until my mom gets some better screws. But yeah, never you really use the pocket hole thing that much, so I guess what do you expect? So, yeah. I don't know if they have to be for the right screws or not, if you have to use the right screws or not. I didn't know any better in the workshop, and uh, the teacher helped me, but whatever. And we had wrestling matches, two of them in a, two, two of them, um, in a row, like, Thursday we had one, and Friday we had one. And on Thursday, 
Um, uh, only one guy on the team I'm on JV for wrestling. He had a match, and then he's the same size as me, and my dad thought it was interesting how he had a match, and I didn't. And then there were no JV, JV matches on Friday. So, yeah. And then today is Monday, and I know I was supposed to do this yesterday. I just didn't feel like it, and um, I have off school today. Um, I know I could have done a Minecraft video today, but I'm going to wait until things get, get back to normal, like once wrestling season is done with and all that. So, yeah. Mom was complaining that these weren't, I wasn't making sure they were the right lengths. I was using the table saw to cut those. So, yeah, that's pretty much it now. So, uh, I'm going to take off. So, see you later. I guess it's snowing now. I got those screws in now, by the way. Um, some of them did. You guys can uh, watch me here, I guess. I can try to set you guys up. I'll uh, use one of these screws to get over my file. One or two. But what I did was I unscrewed the shelf on top of that and raised it up so I could get in there. I'll have to do that on the other side too. <clears throat> oh, I need to lay down here. Oh. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. <clears throat> See if I can get her in a little more. That's pretty good right there. Oh, I'll try and get on this side here. <coughs> I suppose that's good. <coughs> Working on the leg now. My voice is still fucked up a little bit. Which one was the one here? Probably this one. Gotta look at him on the right side. Okay, so it's this fancy design on the legs. And I'm gonna be cutting that up some of it out with the drill press to make it easier. <coughs> My throat's hurting again. For a while it wasn't, but now it is. But to make it easier, since I'm, I suck with cutting with the soaping coping saw, um, I'm gonna cut some out with the drill press. I'm gonna test it right now. I don't feel like filming that though.